The first release candidate for Goodjot 412 is out. It contains about 150 improvements we'll check out. As every release candidate, it contains a bunch of bug fixes and small new features to improve the user experience. Soon we should be receiving the new Goodjot version, so stay tuned. Now let's start. So here is the post of this new version. And well, as you can see here it says, Goodjot 412 contains a number of stability improvements addressing crashes related to threading, editor features, networking, e and rendering. There isn't a lot of description about this version because as you can see it's just a release candidate. And well, release candidates are meant to just be a about bug fixes and small new features. Not a lot to talk about, really. So, if we scroll down a little bit, we can find here that uh, 56 contributors submitted around um, 150 improvements for this release. And um, we can see here all, all the full list of changes. Finally, we also have here the downloads, so we are gonna click here and well okay here we can scroll down a little bit again and we should be able to find our version in my case i'm gonna download the version for windows 64 so as you can see as soon as i clicked it um it downloaded in a matter of like two or three seconds now let's just double click it and well, uh, well, it's actually the um, mono version that I download, downloaded, so that's the version with C# -sharp support. I'm gonna actually download the version without C# -sharp support, so that the process is a little bit uh, easier. Okay, so uh, we're gonna just open this file. That, as you can see, this one is the executable, and this one is just the console. So let's open this one. And well, here, as you can see, we have our good out version over here. Here, uh, some differences that we have with the version uh, 4.2 is, for example, these buttons over here. Uh, new projects, import and scan, because these buttons in the version 4.2 are right here. OK, small differences. OK, so um, Let's actually create a new game, so I'm gonna give it this name following the version, of course. Uh, let's create a new folder and click create and edit. So first thing first, in this version, uh, we continue having this like bug that as you can see, as soon as we create a new game and we zoom in and out in the 3D environment, this green line here starts glitching and again we have in the output um, this warning of blender okay these are warnings are and errors that have been here for a couple of months and they haven't been solved as you can see so anyway uh, let's create a new node this is gonna be just a bare node and um let's give it a name for example main i'm gonna save this scene i will just to try out if everything is working fine and the overall workflow i'm gonna create some sprites okay and i'm gonna quick load uh, the icon one sprite right here other sprite right here and other sprite right here so basically what we are gonna be doing is just if we click the one in our keyboard the first sprite which is this one as you can see it's gonna change its color if we press the two the second sprite color will be changed and the same thing with the third one in order to do this we are just gonna create a new empty script in our main node and now here uh, we wanna call our process delta that is called at every frame And I we are gonna check if we are pressing is key pressed key one. As I told you, we are gonna change the first icon color. 
perfect and uh, we're gonna do the same thing with the second one is key pressed two in this case we're gonna change it to blue for example and finally if we are pressing the key three we are gonna change its color to a uh, yellow for example yellow perfect as you can see very basic code to just try out if everything is working fine or not so let's click here play we have to select the main scene as you can see of course we only have this scene so let's just select this one okay and here we have one two three everything fine we have this warning here because we have to um, prefix uh, the delta parameter with an underscore like this and now when we play again as you can see we don't receive any kind of warning i'm gonna try out something else related to user interface this is gonna be very easy and this is gonna be main two i'm gonna create a label to just show some text this is gonna be zero and uh, then in theme overrides uh, it was in font sizes here i'm gonna give it a font size of 20 maybe um let me do this a little bit bigger uh 60 more uh 130 yeah uh, we're gonna change its alignment to the center and we're gonna center it in our screen then i'm gonna create a button plus one here because when i click this button i want to, to increase my score label by one core label this button i'm gonna do it a little bit larger like this and uh, then again i'm gonna uh, change the font size maybe something like this would be okay and i'm gonna move it right here then a little bit up okay that's perfect i'm gonna save this scene and then in my main two i'm gonna create a new script and i'm gonna connect the pressed signal so first thing first i'm gonna create a new variable name it score when we press the button i'm gonna increase this variable by one and then i'm gonna set my score label text to this variable okay and of course as this score variable is an integer we have to convert it into a string in order to be used into a text property now we are gonna preview our scene and as you can see again everything is working just fine then here we can also try out uh, the web editor but unfortunately here it gives it gives me error i can't find what you are looking for the url seems okay for me uh, let's try it again but no as, as you can see it gives me an error and if i try to scroll down here uh, web editor let's try if we can access right here but here we are in 4.2 dev 5 we aren't in that version so maybe if we click here no but as you can see here in the dates there isn't any like very recent date mm, nope and well here it says you can also try the web editor this uh, version was released on the 22 of september currently i'm recording this uh, video in the 25 of september three days after this release and you're gonna be watching this on september 26 probably 26 or 27 and well maybe you can try if this works for you but as you can see in my case it doesn't so well let me know what you think about the dot all this new version if the wo if the web editor works for you or not subscribe to the channel to be the first one on knowing the latest good news see you in the next one and bye bye